Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be diving into the process of selling your trees, how it works, the do's and don'ts, what to watch for, and what you should be doing when you're selling your trees. So we're just going to dive right into it. Generally there are two ways to go about selling your trees. Generally you're going to work through a consultant or a forester, or you're going to go through directly to a mill or an independent uh, logging crew that markets their own timber. And we'll dive into the pros and cons of each one and what you should expect from each deal. So you can either work with an independent consultant. Often these guys are not necessarily registered with the state, but they're gonna be just as effective. Honestly, I don't see a huge difference between working with an independent consultant versus a registered forester. Both of them are gonna generally work in the same way. Um, so normally how this is going to work, they'll go through, you'll contact them, they'll come out to your parcel, give you advice on what you should be doing with your trees, and then they're going to get out a few mills to come in and bid on your trees. This is going to give you a good unbiased sort of outside look on your property, and this is generally the way I recommend um, doing it, and you're going to get, a, like I said, a great unbiased opinion, and then they are going to be compensated um, just off of a percentage of whatever you receive out of the trees. And the other option is going to be working directly with a mill or with an independent logging crew in that they generally market their own timber. Um, I rarely recommend working directly to a mill as they will often try to buy the timber as cheap as possible. Um, if you don't want to pay a consultant the fee for their service, you can go directly to um, an independent crew, and that usually works out pretty well as well. Um, if you can find somebody reputable that does a good job, that's often a great way to go about it. And they're going to be able to pay you really well because of their overhead being low and marketing their own logs. They can get really good prices out of their timber. So something you want to be very wary of going into this is what's called in the business as flipping. Um, so what will often happen is some guy will come knocking on your door asking for, you know, to buy your timber and they get under contract and, and then all they do is they go and sell that contract to a mill. And if that wasn't bad enough, sometimes that mill will then go and sell that contract again to another mill. And usually all of this is kept in secret. You don't know what's going on. And all that extra money that's going to these third parties should have been going to you. So be very, very careful of that. Um, you want to be dealing directly as much as possible. The only outside of going direct would be through a consultant. And they are independent and are going to give you the best price because they are compensated directly on what you are getting out of your woods as well. So how much should everybody be compensated in a deal like this or what's, you know, what's expected? So if you're going with a consultant, like I said, they're going to get a mill out and they are going to be very unbiased. They're going to give you a good opinion on what to do with your timber and then they're just compensated for their service. Um, they're going to be working very similarly as a real estate agent would when you're selling your home. They know the markets, they know the business inside and out. And generally you're going to get a better price working with a real estate agent versus trying to sell your home yourself. Same way as a, with a consultant. They're going to give you a better price. They know the business inside and out. They know if they're dealing with somebody reputable or not. Um, and I've seen guys being compensated anywhere from five all the way up to an insane 25%. Do not let them do that at 25%. Um, you want to be, I don't recommend going much over 10%. Uh, I feel that's that's fair. Uh, most guys are in the seven to ten percent range. Um, that's that's a very typical as a um, consultant or forester. Now, if you go directly to a mill, this often doesn't end well. I've seen this happen a lot um, as we do subcontract to mills sometimes, and oftentimes they will go. People will come directly to a mill and hey, you know, come give us a price in our timber. Well, they don't have a clue what it's worth and the mill knows this. They'll go in and exploit that. Um, they'll often go in and try and get it 50, 50 cents on the dollar, 75 cents on the dollar, trying to get a steal on this. And then often they're not even giving you the full footage of what's actually in the woods. They'll just give you a rough estimate 
uh, making sure that there's some on the safe side in case it undercuts a little bit. And I really, really would recommend staying away from going directly to a mill unless it's somebody you know that you can trust. Um, I'm not saying all mills are bad, um, but you do need to be very careful when working directly with a mill. Now the third option, and I also would recommend doing this, would be, like I said, going with an independent crew that will market their own timber. They're going to be able to give you very good prices on your logs. And honestly, I believe this is going to be the future of logging. I think this is where it's going to go in 10, 20 years from now. Um, I see more and more of this happening, and it just seems to be seems to be the best option for most people. So most of these companies are pretty small, and because of that, they don't have a ton of capital to pay outright for timber, which is actually good. That's going to work out in your favor. So what they're going to want to do is what's called a percentage deal. They're going to go in, give you an estimate on what they think is there and how much they think they can get out of the timber themselves. And then they'll take it home, they'll get it cut, they'll take it up to their yard, and the buyers will come out and give them a price on their trees. Now, if you're doing a deal like this, I recommend sitting right around 50%. Generally, you know, anywhere from, you know, if you do a 60-40, 50-50, or a 40-60, um, somewhere in that range. Um, most timber, I would sec I would recommend sitting around 50 50. If you're dealing with really, really high end timber, a lot of veneer walnuts and such, then, then you could do where you'll receive 60% and they're going to receive 40. There's enough margin in there for them to operate on that. Um, but around 50% um, to either party is what you want to stick with. So they're going to be, should be very transparent with you on what they're getting out of their trees, showing all the paperwork, amount of loads, the actual footage of the trees, all this stuff should be run by you. That way you know what's going on through this whole process. Um, and some companies do it differently. Sometimes you'll get a one big check at the end, at the end of the job. Sometimes you'll receive several payments depending on how big the job is. Um, and I honestly, I feel like, like I said, this is going to be the future of logging. I think this is the most efficient, the most profitable for both parties. And I think it's the best win-win um, for both on the, the logging crew and the mills, and also for you as the property owner. So I hope this video helped, guys. Um, stay tuned for more uh, videos like this, and I'm hoping to continue to help you guys understand how the logging process works what things to do, things to stay away from. And yeah, thanks for watching guys.